I'm going to go ahead and unmute everybody in case you want to say hello. <laughs> you know what, India? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Nita can't come in. Um, she's right here. Who so is it, Nita? They're oh. doing a, they're doing a meeting and stuff for like us to know what we have to. Like right now. Yeah. So how do you? Why is there other kids that you're hearing? Uh, my classmates. Joy. All right there, she is. Now we got Panina and Leland and Celine and Brooke. Okay, we're on the go. <laughs> well, hopefully you can all see uh, each other's video. And uh, Feel free to mute or unmute yourself if you want to uh, say something. Uh, but sixth grade teachers, we're going to do uh, one Zoom meeting a week, every week just to check in. So science is going to be Wednesdays at 11 with me. And I think Mr. Brennan is wanting to do Fridays. And Ms. Berg is wanting to do Mondays. And I think they're going to do noon. Uh, so it'll just be a weekly check-in, a way for you guys to see each other. Oh, get some feedback there. There, I muted because uh, there was some feedback sound. I don't know if you heard it. I heard it. Um, so this weekly check-in, like I said, it's a time to check in. Uh, you can ask questions and maybe you can answer each other's questions or I can answer it. So let's start with check-in. Uh, if you want to say hi and what you're up to, go ahead. Who would like to go first? And there's also the chat room if you're on a computer. I don't know what it looks like on a phone. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Uh, but where your controls are, you click on chat and there's a group chat. So I'm gonna say hi to everybody. And it should give you a message that there's uh, something on the chat room. There we go. Panina said, hi. Hello, Brooke. Leland says, hola. Celine's coming in and out. It's good to see you, Celine. I'm glad you can uh, get on a phone and check in. And uh, it's nice to see many of you have been checking in on Classcraft. As you know, let me share my screen so I can show you what I'm talking about. Hopefully you can see my screen um, for each class. By the way, that's my level 12 mage with the new pet, the alligator. I like him. He's cute. And he matches my level 12 mage. I might change him up soon. He's been looking that way for a long time. Uh, but I'm like on period two right now and we've got, yeah, three people from period two and Celine from period three. So period two, your, <laughs> yeah, your random event today wasn't very good. You notice you got an energy drain. Sorry, you should have slept better. Uh, and yeah, you got the link to the Zoom. 
I'll just post the link on here every Wednesday so we can see each other and say hi and check in. Uh, and notice my dot is still green. Just scroll up to see what you missed. Yeah, yesterday, Casey didn't check in before six, so everyone took damage in period two from the roach infestation. I don't like roaches, so that would have been disgusting. Can you imagine giant cockroaches coming at you? Um, so I scrolled up far enough that the green dot is gone. I don't know about you, but that green dot there would bug me if I didn't make it go away, so I made it go away uh, just by scrolling up and making sure I read everything. So, yeah, everybody's, let's see what it looks like. Class, yeah, look at that. Everybody's losing uh, AP and some people have been using it more. They come in and they mana transfer or they heal. Warriors haven't been able to protect much. Oh well. Hey, there's Leland. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you guys. I miss you. Um, yeah, this quarantine stuff is weird. But speaking of quarantine, I just added just this morning after doing random events, a new quest. So I, I put a, a quest assignment called, have you watched this? And um, this is just to make sure everybody saw the video. So if you saw it, you can complete it. And I want you to complete it because it unlocks this one. I put a new escape room. That's really cool. And uh, you know, escape rooms, I think Mr. Brennan said he's doing those in math, some kind of breakout things. Is that true? I don't see any heads nodding. I'll assume you're doing this. Yeah, there's one. All right, thank you, Panina. Um, so this one is about none other than COVID-19. Now, if you try to click here, it's not gonna let you. So you gotta go to assignment, go to Google Classroom, and uh, then you can open it. Now, I already did it. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you get stuck, you can message me on Classcraft. I can provide hints. There's only one part that um, I thought was a little weird. There's this cool drawing-like thing with words in it, and you have to figure out what it says in each color. Uh, it was kind of fun. So hopefully you'll like it. And then you can make those your own and send them to people. It's like a secret code. Uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, try this out. It's new. It's fun. It'll get you a bunch of XP, 250 XP and 100 gold if you finish it and get all the way to the end. Uh, and it's got all the answers in there. You just have to figure it out. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Ooh, we got another person coming in. Who is it? It's Avery. Now we got two people from third period. Nice. Let me get my video. Hello, Avery. Welcome. So we're just checking in. How you doing? Yeah, so Brooke is checking to see if she's got enough AP to mana transfer. Yeah, this is a good chance for mages to get some XP. Uh, cool deal. All right, well, Avery's here. Avery, I was just showing the newest uh, thing I put on Classcraft. It's an escape room on COVID-19. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, COVID-19, it's all over the news. It's everywhere, all over the world. It's happening. So I got that pair deck that we did, and I've got this escape room. Just to make sure you know what's what. All right. Any questions, comments? You can put them in the chat or you can just say, hey. So 
So are any of you uh, getting out and enjoying some sun? Looks like you're out, Celine. That looks pretty out there. You got some trees. Oh yeah, quad. that's right. Yeah, you've been riding quads and, and your bike. Yeah, I've been going out for runs. I put it on the chat four times a week. I'm in training for a virtual run. Mr. Gonzalez. Yes. So we, we've been working on a garden and stuff. And also I w am thinking of making a compost box and stuff. Perfect. That's a great thing to do. I mean, we've got the weather for it. It's good for the planet. And um, it's good stuff. Yeah, you should, ooh, if you can, uh, take a picture of it. It would be cool if you can share that on your blog because I will push your blogs out. You know, now that we're all quarantined, blogging is a great way to get our, share what we're doing with more people. Animals, yeah, animals are great to play with in this time. Whoa, new trails. Nice. Yeah, I haven't been out on the trails. I uh, didn't want to run into people. And the nice thing about running down this road, West Valley, is there's barely anybody there. I just see people on bicycles and quads. Uh, but I can, like, go around them. And I saw one of the high school teachers riding his bike down that road. <laughs> Brooke's been lazy. <laughs> But you've been playing Minecraft. Yeah, we need two more people for our esports team. We got a tournament coming up and How, we, we, two people. We can still do uh, Minecraft. Oh, yeah, we've been doing it. Oh. Yeah, you, you got. Yes, yeah, now that you're back on, I see you're on. Uh, you got to check uh, messages on Classcraft. And um, yeah, because if you were an esports member, I asked who can play from home. And those who did, I made a Google Classroom just for them. And so we've been playing. But we got a tournament Saturday. And if we don't get two more people, we have to forfeit. I, um, I can uh, try to join. Oh, awesome. So I will get you on that Google Classroom group, and we'll communicate. And then ask your parents if you can play Saturday. And if you can, you'll be number four. That would okay. be awesome. Yeah, we need one more. I tried to get Kane, uh, but I haven't heard back from him. Tried to get Tristan, haven't heard back from him. And Noah. I can talk to Tristan. Yes, talk to him, because if he could be number five, we got our team. Because I know Noah's family's still trying to get back home from Mexico. Yeah. Because he was playing with us. But yeah, we've been going on the uh, CompMC server with Java, and we've had Ethan and Sequoia making uh, worlds on um, Minecraft Education Edition. Sequoia couldn't, sh we couldn't get into her world and I had some problems, but Ethan does it really good. Ooh, Xbox, that's cool. But yeah, we're still playing. Uh, so the esports club is still going on. Oh, nice with your brother, cool. So yeah. We'll see, maybe, uh, so we've got Ethan, Logan J, and Brooke, and if we can get you, Leland, and Tristan, that'll be our team of five. So what we've been doing is nine o'clock in the morning is the only time most people can play. So they've been meeting at nine. I don't know, Brooke, did you guys play at nine today? No, you guys should be practicing. I mean, those people you're up against, they've been practicing nonstop. They know the map, but I mean, it's okay. It's, it'll be fun, um, good practice, but I think they're really good. And uh, yeah, I played a little bit yesterday and didn't do very well at all. So Minecraft has been fun and I have videos on my eSports playlist on YouTube, on my channel. Check it out. You can see me playing. Let me see if I can share that screen. 
gonna show you what we've got. Let's pick Firefox. I got too many browsers. All right, so this is my uh, Minecraft eSports Club, and I got a video there about the April ambush. That's what it's called, April ambush. And this was yesterday. I think I saw Brooke. Were you uh, number four? I think you were. I was three. Oh, you were three? Then somebody was four. I don't know who it is. So yeah, this was a uh, destroy the core game. Yeah, so the esports people, we've been zooming. I hate falling off these things. Yeah, just like that. So what days are you as eSports? Well, um, we filled out a form of when people could play. And uh, let me show you what we got. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Let me share that screen because it's, it's complicated. I mean, we're all at home. Not everybody can play at the same time because I wish we'd get more people because Minecraft would be a fun way to do school. Uh, so this is where we have all our information. So I'll, I'll add you to this group, uh, Leland, or I'll just send you the code so you can join it on Google Classroom. But this is when people can play. Can you send me the codes too? Huh? Can you send me the codes too? Who, Avery? Yes. Yes, I will totally do that because we need more people. So if you look here, 9 a.m. Monday through Friday is the day we can get the most people playing. We got mm -hmm. five people can play on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and six people on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But then, then as the day gets later, we get fewer people. Um, so by yeah afternoon, only like two or three people can play at a time. So Saturday, if we can get, like I said, five people for the tournament, mm, we're in because I've already got us registered. Yeah, check this out. Uh, they came up with the name Beach Chickens. It's a April ambush capture the wool tournament. And look, they're even giving a prize, 50 bucks to first place. I mean, it's not much, but... Pfft. It's still fun. It's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's a cash prize. I was shocked. Uh, and then second and third place just get tournament rank in Discord, but that's still, that's pretty hot stuff. Uh, especially when you're playing against pros. These are not school kids. These are like, all they do is play Minecraft and competitively. So the, t <laughs> the, the name people chose was Beach Chickens. So if you play for us, you're the beach chickens. And I just put the first five school accounts. Uh, so that's where we are. And we are fully registered. Right now, there's only a few other teams registered, but they'll probably get more. I think it's due today. So, oh, yeah, well, let me check and see who's registered so far. Registered teams. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there are a lot more. There's a lot. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. And yeah, only five can play at a time. Um, but they can probably switch people out and get their best players in. Ooh. Where are we? There we are. The beach chickens. We've been accepted. Oh. Okay, well, I got to go. I'm going to swim. Okay. Well, thanks for tuning in. And, yeah, uh, I just wanted to say hi, touch bases. Ooh, and next Wednesday, just so you know, it's it's Earth Day. So it's the theme for this year. By the way, this year's Earth Day is the 50th anniversary. Earth Day started okay. in 1970. Bye, Avery. Bye.
1970, and this year's theme is climate action. And next week, we're starting our climate change unit. So it's perfect. We're going to be doing climate change, and this year's Earth Day theme is climate action. So it's going to be great. Tell everyone you know. Um, yeah, and what you're doing, Leland, composting and doing a garden, that's one of the things they, they uh, of course, recommend. Yeah. Um, so we got to share it. We got to show the world we are climate action people. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Um, anything else from any of you? Anything you want to say? Um, do we have to finish um, our hydrodynamics on Friday? You know, that would be the best because if you don't finish by Friday, you can turn it in late. But then if you have hydrodynamics and public service announcement. And on top of that, you have um, all the climate change stuff. It might just be overwhelming. Okay. Um, so yeah, be nice. I've got three people already turned in their um, blogs and I've got them right here. I got Ethan, Logan, and Anya. Yeah, so a public service announcement can look like this. Uh, so there's a picture of his Lego solution. It's got a bibliography. Yeah, the more of these I can get, the more I can share with the world and let everybody know what you guys are learning. And then Logan did his on microplastics. And Anya did hers on, oh yeah, she did it on that life straw. I saw Keenan did a flip grid. If you guys have been checking the flip grid. Yeah, I answered yours, Brooke. I don't know if you saw my response video. I love it. We can respond to each other. You know, you guys can respond to each other on this too. Flipgrid is fun. It's another way we can stay connected. Uh, but Keenan did some filter thing too, and he shared it on there. Ooh, we got another person. Hey, Ethan's in. All right. Hey, Ethan. Welcome. We're just wrapping up here. Um, oh, by the way, Ethan, we might have two more people for our April ambush tournament. Leland uh, is on now, so he thinks he can play and he's gonna try to get Tristan. I wonder if he knows which Tristan. Leland, which Tristan were you talking about? Burnside or, or um, Headley? Headley. Oh, good, yeah, Headley's the one who's in our club. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it just occurred to me, wait a minute, we have two Tristans. <laughs> All right. So, Ethan, you got anything to share? How you doing? There, I unmuted you in case you were talking. Oh, okay. Um, I'm doing fine. Have you been playing outside? Huh? Have you been playing outside getting the sunshine? Yeah. It's great. I can see it out my window. <laughs> right behind me. Oh, nice. Yeah, so are you guys going out today to get some sun? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to do some yard work. Again. Oh, cool. Today I got a eight-mile run to do. So it's going to take me a while. I'm going to go slow so I don't get too tired. Nice doggy. <laughs> yes dogs pets and animals all right everybody so thank you for tuning in it was so nice to see some faces it gets lonely when i don't get to see your faces um so yeah let's uh next week wednesday i'll be on at 11 and it'll be earth day so we're going to talk about climate monday we're starting our climate change unit so climate action is the earth day theme I'm excited, it's perfect timing, we are so in sync. Uh, and they've got ideas for how we can celebrate Earth Day and help the Earth while quarantined at home. I know, 
right? We can do this. So, uh, yeah, if there's nothing else, I'm going to end the meeting. Is that cool? Give me thumbs up. Yeah. All right. Stop sharing. Bye. Bye. All right. Oh, and by the way, Brooke, for your question, is Logan for? Let me check. Let me check real quick. Um, I think Logan was two or three. Where did I write that? I don't remember where I wrote it. I think I wrote it here. Uh, nope, I didn't write it there. I know I wrote it somewhere. Four class comments, two class comments. Oh, here it is. I did. <laughs> so Ethan's number one. Logan's number two. Brooke is number three. Yeah. So Ethan one, Logan two, Brooke, you're three. And then Leland can be four. Okay. And hopefully Tristan can be five. And we'll have a team because I did. I really don't want to forfeit. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are a lot of teams. And it's going to be so much fun. It will probably be all day. So. I don't know. We'll see. All right. All right. Well, thanks for the questions and bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.